Welcome back to another episode of Shopping Simulator 2019. My name is Tobel, and our main group, our, uh, our explorer group right now, is way up in World's End, selling some of their awesome, awesome goodies. We have tons and tons of toys. Uh, we did get all of our archers a new Eagles Crosses. Eagles Cross, sorry. Uh, they are very, very high-level bows, the difference being that they have a longer reload time. Uh, but they do have a higher overall damage. So we'll see how the girls do with that. Otherwise, I'm still trying to get rid of some parts from our recent excursion. So we're trying to sell things like skeleton muscles, some of these old, not old per se, but uh, some of the weapons that we wind up finding. Now, here's an interesting thing. We've not upgraded. As, as a couple people pointed out, I've been lax in caring for good old Tobel. He still has his crappy economy left arm so maybe it's time to well maybe not there's really not a whole lot here uh at least this would give him some dexterity back i mean just a maybe just a standard skeleton arm would that work out i think it would be okay just a, just a regular old arm maybe you know what maybe instead you know who specializes in these are the Hivers. So maybe we should take Tobol down to the Hive Villages and uh, do a little bit of a shopping trip. That might be the better option. Who's missing legs these days, by the way? Wasn't it, uh, it was Rin, correct? How's her... I like how she has her old leg. Do you guys remember when... Oh, I don't know what happened. It, it totally wasn't me, but someone made her carry around her severed leg in her inventory. Yeah, whoever does that is a jerk. Uh, so she has a Masterwork Skeleton Leg. We did finally come to the consensus that no, we are not, in fact, going to make Beep stand in acid or get his legs chopped off, sadly. Uh, so that's out of the question. I'm going to try to pick up a Thieves backpack. Uh, this is for our main squad. I, I did eventually want to have them all kitted out in those. Okay, good enough. We've, uh, oh, you know what? No, he's got, he's got money left. Hey there. Buy more stuff. Meat bag, buy more things. Okay, cool. Just enough for us. We'll continue on to the rest of these shops in the city. Probably making everyone go broke from it. Yes, I realize I could send Beep on a, like, a rampant, uh, you know, stealing uh, spree. I, I don't really want to be that messed up. I mean, he really could, so... It's almost like putting, you have to kind of put self-limitations on sometimes because your characters are just like, they wind up getting really, really strong and it's a little bit broken. I mean, that's one of the things that is most common when you start a new Kenshi playthrough is to grind up stealth, steal the equivalent of, you know, a King's Ransom and then just sell it on back to someone. Oh, we are, we've already been to this guy. Okay. So we've mostly exhausted the financial uh, abilities of all of the shopkeepers here. Let's get Beep out of the city. And uh, we should, I don't think he's actually, doesn't matter that he's seen, I don't think they care too much anymore. You've got some money. I guess we could try out uh, selling to the shopkeepers. Well, you know what, we're going to get to another city eventually. So let's just have everyone head out. I'm really excited and I want them all to try their fancy new bows. So... I mentioned we want to go down through Ocran Shield. Ocran, Ocran, can I get somebody with some authority to weigh in here on this? I really want to know for, for reasons. I have to know. And they're always just pathfinding, so let's just give our people an order to run down the slope. And we're going to watch them because there, there tends to be a lot of weird pathfinding issues with this, um, with this hill. Uh, a little bit of a fight. We're not getting raided yet, right? We still have, probably today, in terms of this episode, eight hours until the Band of Bones raid. Okay, I am going to try to get ready for that raid as soon as I give our, our folks a good long run order that I know they're following. <gasps> Ooh, Gimli has turned into an elder bone dog of doom. Uh, Dwellin just took a bolt to the leg. You can always tell the bolt damage because the bleeding is insane. Honestly, the animals should probably have taunt on, shouldn't they? No, is that not good? 
Yeah, maybe not. Okay, our main group, our little uh, exploration group. I don't know why I keep saying main group. They're really not. Let's have them get outside of Okran Shield. I think Okran Shield sounds more accurate than Okran Shield. Okay. So, let's jump back to the main home. Everyone is continuing on their workout routine. Which involves sleeping in front of some things. That's cool. That's fine. Uh, we're missing a bunch of people. What are you guys doing? Slackers. Oh, Crumble John went to, to help defend the base, I guess. That's fine. That's fine. We'll put... Uh, we'll try to get the rest of the folks up to... Let's see. Crumble John up here. Wing is working out. Uh, Shrike must have gotten in a fight somewhere along the line. He's sleeping and so is Doc. So they must have responded to uh, the call to arms. Uh, Boop, what are you up to? Aren't you doing your martial arts for a bit? Yeah, you are. Up to 43. That's insane. That's hilarious. I love I love how, how broken these things are. It did take us a long time to get to that point, though. I mean, I will say. Okay, so we're now at the point where we have our uh, harpoon turrets up top. I think I'm going to give stone and... Who's our other? Kiros, yeah? Let's give Kiros and Stone an order to get to the... To man these top harpoon guns for a while. And I'm curious to see if they're going to be able to get a nice clean shot. Now, the when you're on the gun itself, I think it tells you, like, a, an elevation thing. Height bonus. Really? Zero percent? Interesting. I, I thought we would have something. Does it have to be like 80 feet high? Maybe we just not engaged anyone yet, so it doesn't know what to compare it to. God, what a bloodbath. Uh, oh, by the way, someone mentioned, very good call, in one of the last suggestions in the last video. Uh, why do we, why, why not put a corpse furnace next to the gate? Because that's really the only time we're going to use that corpse furnace. Brilliant idea. I'm going to actually dismantle the previous corp furnace, corpse furnace. Uh, we'll have that put up there. Our crossbow squad is still continuing to hone their skills, so they should be ready for the big fight coming up. I will probably have everyone on the turrets and walls uh, for the Band of Bones. And in fact, maybe... How much time do we have left? Mm, we've got six hours. I think we're good on materials. Let's go ahead and dismantle a couple. I won't do all of them. I'll do a few at a time. We'll do three here. I'm going to do uh, the better... Harpoon turrets. We'll add a couple more, because we have a lot of people at base. Now, granted, not everyone has that ability, but that's fine. You know, we don't... As long as we're not out there fighting, it doesn't matter if they miss every so often. Everyone's a chance to hit. So, by the way, Kai, I meant to check back up on Kai. How have you been doing with your armor drop-off thing? That whole situation. Oh, uh, no one's doing plate smashing. Can I get you to do plate smashing? Secret, you don't really have a whole lot going on. You're just a hauler. I also needed to change Kai's job to the plate beating over here. Instead of this plate beating station. And in fact, I'm going to... Moodles, can you jump in here for a second real quick? I'm going to drop this armor plate station. Cool. That way everything should be in the right spot. Uh, you know what? Before this big fight happens, let's get our main group geared up. I completely forgot about the fact that now we have uh, brand new uni uniforms available. Maybe if I can hit the right button. Oh, I'm so just not even with it. Okay, this is the building, right? Yeah, one of them. So we're going to swap. I'm just going to quick swap the gear for a second. I wish they'd wear it. Uh, you've got that nice armored hood, which is super awesome. Let's get the rest of the group inside. I think the rest of the armor is over here. So everyone's still missing out on the helmets so far. But we'll get there. We're going to get to helmets very, very soon. You have that outfit. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's the quality of all these come out at? One of them I thought was Masterwork. Very cool. Really, really good quality. Uh, we also probably want to try to equip them with the Samurai Pants, Cloth Pants. 
not super important, of course, but, um, you know, I want to have a nice, pretty uniform. So that's that's my th reasoning. Uh, Crumble John, I'm going to steal your pants. Sorry, buddy. But in, in return, you get a plate jacket. Enjoy. I hope it, I hope it fits you well. I'm finally taking uh, Wings, the uh, invincible wing... What do we want to call him? The Undying Wing? The uh, the Unwielding Wing? I meant to rename him a long time ago. I'll give you some pants, and you get some pants, and you get some pants. So, are we... We're still short a couple. I, th I think they might be in the other armor chest over in that direction. So, cool. All set there. Let's, uh, let's run over next door and grab the rest of the armor. <laughs> Klob and Zod are... Not unsure where to put these bodies that they've recently had. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> uh, hopefully when that thing gets finished, they'll immediately start going over to that corpse disposal. All right, main group, please. I want you to gear up. Was it right here? Oh, hey, we do have uh, cloth pants for everyone. Oh, that's right. We made these cloth pants. We didn't make the um, the leg things, the, uh, the armor ones that we were wearing. Oh, and he's been busy with helmets, too. Very cool. I'm so excited to have a uniform, you guys. Uh, we'll have uh, we'll have Jackson turn in his fancy armored hood for a bit, and we're going to use these uh, flared helmets just for a while to see how they do. Wow, we have really trashy pants. I feel like I've uh, really been poor on getting our, our group equipped. I mean, we're in, like, what, episode, uh... Guys, is this episode 50? I think it's this episode 50. I should have had a party at the start of it. Uh, what a fun episode. Is it? Is this the episode where everyone dies? <laughs> I think this might be. I'll tell you what, let's have Doc have the super fancy, uh, leg plates. Just, just because. So, before this big fight starts... Have we been using all of our med medican, medican, medical stuff? Everyone has a little bit. Um, the guys in the in the base itself. Oh, you all have some. I probably do need to uh, research the uh, requirements for medical stuff down the road, though. Ancient science book. That's all you need. What about regular first aid kits? Can we already make those? Hey, who's hiding the medical bench? Oh, we don't have a medical bench. Do we not? Fair enough. Uh, crafting medical bench. Are we sure we don't have one? I don't think we do. Or is it this right here? No, it's got a bunch of uh, barrels on the side of it. Okay, we'll put it over here. I don't. I think it uses fabric. I don't quite remember what uh, medical benches use for the actual med kits themselves, but we'll take a look once it's built and see if we can't stock up because we're actually pretty short on what, what's available right now. Okay, main squad. Y'all are looking pretty good. I must say, we'll probably look into getting you guys plates, uh, actual boots at some point. Uh, side note, can we make boots yet? Where do you make boots at? Drifter's boots. Uh, I think I actually want some plate for the, for the boots at some point. We don't have to get this right away. It's not a priority, but uh, it would be nice. Wait, where the heck is this at? It says we already have a medical bench. Oh, for goodness sake. It's right in front of me. All right. How many of you saw it? Raise your hand. <laughs> how many of you were yelling at me? Uh, okay. So basic first aid bench. We can't do anything with. We have to upgrade this. That's why. Okay. Perfect. So home is looking good. Everyone is doing well. Uh, oh, yeah. I haven't checked on how's our bread production going. It's non-existent. Are we just like... Not doing anything with bread right now? Where does that... 
Huh. Are you guys coming to get a snack? Okay, so yes, people will eat out of the bread box. Got it. Roger, check over. Uh, we are uh, immediately out of wheat straw. No, we're not. Wait a minute. Who's not doing this? Okay. Ace and Sharon, you should have a job. Oh. I bet it's a it's it's a confusion order. Let me do this. Let's let me kill all the hauling jobs. Oh, I clicked too many, so let's just do this. Ace and Sharon, let's reset all your farming jobs. Okay, that should be all the farming. We want to then load up. Which one would cancel the order? It's one of those things where if you put like a, you know, haul wheat straw job, it'll cancel it out or something like that. Let's give Sharon nothing order, see what happens. Okay, so she'll try to do this first. Will she then try to take the wheat straw out? No, she's actually trying to go get more wheat straw for this. Okay, that's that's the thing. I don't think they were bringing the wheat straw to the grain silo because they had a conflicting order. Now, Ace, shouldn't you have the same order? Are you just not feeling like helping out? Oh, I didn't cancel all your jobs and reset them. Perhaps. So we'll do the same thing for Ace. That should be all of those. And then I'm going to give you the order to do this and this. And then I'll select Sharon and also add the cactus job, the food job, I guess the flower job, and the uh, the bread box. Cool. Perfect. Cool, awesome, etc., etc. We still have uh, 400 wheat straw to go through. Let's go ahead and re-enable the job for Grog. Which was... Did we cancel the job completely? Where's uh, Dietrich at? Let's add back the Grog machine. I'll also give... Since Ace and Sharon are mostly here, I'll give them the order to pick Grog up and drop it into the Grog barrels as well. Okay, so the wheat straw production should really be picking up. Not production per se, but uh, processing should really be picking up this episode. So hopefully we'll see if we can maintain a proper amount of food available at our base. Now, the dust switches, weren't those... Yeah, it's cactus and that. So let's keep that job back up and running. Oh, it actually is. So we just have to wait for cooking, cooking, cooking stuff. Okay, so we just have to wait for more cactus to get done. Do we want to drop another cactus farm? Because this is surprisingly not all that... The output is not all that high. Well, I think it's mostly... The output is high, it's just that we're using quite a bit to try to do chew sticks, is really what it is. Chew sticks are 8 to 1 ratio. So we're using almost all of our chew sticks just for that, you know, just for one thing. Uh, we've got a return for tribute in 10 hours. We have a bandit raid that's going to start in one hour, meaning I think they're going to leave their area to come toward us. Uh, meanwhile, what are the archers up to? I don't think I've paid attention to them in a hot minute. Uh, they are aimless, which means that their run command has ended. Hello. And of course, somebody got stuck somewhere because there's only two of them here. That drives me, that drives me crazy sometimes. It, randomly, they got stuck back behind the Holy Farm. At least they're relatively close. I'll give them just a couple seconds to come up over the hill, and then we'll have everyone push through Akron Shield down into this uh, lovely, lovely area. Uh, now, the Scrap House. Didn't someone say the Scrap House, like, in the lore? And I've also seen it in the comments. Isn't the Scrap House, like... A super high quality crafting person thing. I know that was very, very clear, but yeah, right? Wasn't that the case? I feel like it was. Let's see. Okay, so let's... Ooh, you know what? I'll tell you what. I can't, nor do I want to micromanage both of these situations at the same time. So let's look at how far away the raid is. Uh, where the hell is the raid, actually? Don't they come from somewhere over here? <laughs> where are you bastards at? I'm super confused. Where did, Where is the Band of Bones set up there? There it is. Okay, so they're still quite a ways out. So, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to get everybody into the... 
area down here. Into the valley. Uh, yeah, acid rain, that's gonna be a slight problem, but, uh, we'll deal. Oh, am I just silly? Can we completely get in here without having to go through Okran Shield? Oh, I guess we totally could, the entire time. Fair enough. Who's barefoot? <sighs> Crap, okay, let's, um... I don't... That's a long way to run without any shoes. Who is that again? Was it probably Laura? Because I never put anything on her. Okay, it was Alice. Let me give Alice some... Let me see if I can get Alice some shoes here real quick at one of these shops. There's like... I'm sure there's like a general trader. Oh shit. We are super... Okay. Gotta go. Gotta go fast. I just uh, tried to bribe the guard. She's gonna get shot by a bolt. Run around the corner! Run around the corner! <laughs> uh, hashtag oops, I guess? Question mark? I guess we could just carry Alice into the uh, this particular area. Okay, perfect time to test out our bows, guys. God, they're so huge! Oh god, Alice, duck! <laughs> oh no, my god, the damage in one shot. Are you serious right now? All right, we're gonna we're gonna get out of this fight, but I just wanted to see a little bit of the damage possibilities. Nice, very very impressive. Can we can we leave now? Ooh, side note. Wait a minute. No, let's not quite leave yet. <laughs> uh, you're following us of your own volition. This is for our own protection, sir. I just panicked. If we would have allowed them to search us, I'm fairly certain that they would have uh, found some some naughty goodies. Because they search all of your... Whoever's nearby, I think, in the area. Uh, he just went down in, like, a heap. Let's see if we can... You know what? Let's do this. <laughs> I wonder how much beep can hold off attackers. Probably not really well. But, uh, well, let's shoot this guy while he's helping his friend out. No, you know what, beep? I don't really want to pull any more aggro. Okay, we just wrecked his face. Let's try to get this new guy's face. Didn't quite work. Let's go up this way so we're out of the burning rain for a hot minute. I'm so... I'm beyond happy to uh, be attacking some Holy Nation people, honestly. I really, really am. It's been a long time coming. We'll set these ladies up on the wall here. Oh, they're running away. Nope, get him. Kill him. Kill him. I mean, uh, you know, enlighten him and stuff. <laughs> oh, God. What a shot. What a shot. I'm so excited. Maybe we're just going to kill everyone at this outpost down the road. It'll take a long time, of course. Uh, I'm just excited that we're doing so much damage. Oh my god, the damage is glorious. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Yes, burn. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I get really excited uh, about attacking Holy Nation. Okay. So, they're melting a bit. I'm going to grab his boots. Side note, do we have... Um, acid protection here. Does anything else give us acid protection? Not really. Our hats do. A little bit, which is kind of cool. That's really it. And they don't have anything that's going to protect us uh, either, I don't believe. Okay, good enough. We are getting rained on and it does suck, but I believe we should be able to find cover inside of this area. We're going to have... A, uh, a ruin in here that we're going to get to. The Lost Armory Ruins as well. We were in that before, and we were able to, you know, hole up for a bit. So, if we get really badly damaged with the acid, uh, we'll go hide for a bit. It, it does do pretty steady damage on you over time. So, we might... Uh, does, is it raining all the time? I don't seem to recall it raining all the time. Okay, I'm also forgetting that we've got a freaking raid coming. Oh, they're really, really close. Alright. I'll tell you what. Let us, let us go this way. I'm going to pull our entire squad out of here and over into Holy Nation so they're out of the acid. Next, let's go home. We have a lot of stuff to deal with right now. So, let's prep for this raid, which is, oh, I don't know, just down the damn hill because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, first off, let me hit Control-Shift-11. 
Make sure that none of our walls are completely broken. 12 buildings had messed up save data. Okay. Next up. Defenders of the Innocent. Uh, says Wyatt and Hobbs. I need you guys to get on the battlements, please. We're not quite done with those advanced turrets, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to have them get on uh, what they have available. Was this working out? I'll tell you what, I guess we'll have we'll have Kiro stay up here. And we'll bring Stone down here to the other harpoon turret that he had, which was this one, I think. Okay, other than that, Klob, come on back. I'm going to turn... I'm using everyone for this raid. I want to completely fight this raid. I don't want any... Um, I realize I just canceled a bunch of jobs. I don't want anyone to run away. We're going to fight this these bullies. We're going to completely decimate the Band of Bones right here. Right now, episode 50. No backing down. Let's get our unyielding squad to the side so I know where they're at. Let's get the animals all in one spot. We'll get all of the bronze in one spot so I know where they're at. Holy crap, that was a decent shot from up there. Sorry, Kiro, stay on the gun. Did you just shoot that guy? So that's obviously working out right. Uh, Band of Bones is going to be coming up in just a minute. Okay, then you know what? If that worked out so well, let's have the entire group, well, at least Sez and Wyatt, go up on top. All right, check Roger over. We've got the other turret here that's good to go. We're going to then put, I think from everyone else, who are you shooting at and where are they at? 171 damage. Yeah, you're having a bad day. You are having a bad day, buddy. Oh, nice. Holy crap. 49% damage from being 29 meters above the target. Okay, so great idea, by the way, for the original people who suggested uh, putting watchtowers on the corners of our base. Very, very awesome. Very smart maneuver. Uh, we're going to get everyone who is in the engineering squad uh, over here. Honestly, I'm going to let the engineers keep working for a bit. Right up until the people are at the gate. All right, so the rest of it, everyone else is on a weapon they can use pretty well. Uh, so... Who are we missing? Hobbs is up here. So everyone's on something. So let's just divvy up the rest of the regular, you know, weapons for everyone else. Yeah, I'm hoping Thendu and Moodles can finish up these other two turrets before the uh, main group gets here, so we'll see. I'm so excited. I want to get some enemies. We can get some challenges here. Let's get a raid going. Unless they're going to break through our gate and then we're super screwed. Okay, they're not. I believe we're on a shoot first, ask later policy. Let me go into the AI. Uh, shoot first, ask later. I don't know. I almost want to have everyone open up at the same time when they're right in the middle, so I might hold off on that until everyone is aggro. We are probably going to have to micro people as well. Did anyone finish their turret? Not... Okay, it's, it's not really going to happen. So let's turn off jobs. I want the engineers right at the gate to repair the gate as it gets getting damaged. Oh, here comes the fun. Let the slaughter begin for everyone on both sides. All right, so Zod and Klob, you guys will have your job. No, you always have the medic job. Fair enough. Zod, go ahead and put the body down, buddy. Uh, Boop is going to be here helping out with his martial arts. Our main squad is ready for a fight. The animal squad is ready for a fight. The rest of our squad, I think I'm going to have on passive and hold. And I'm going to have them away from the fight. All right, guys, get to repairing, please. While the rest of the group is just trying to unload on everyone at the gate here. Not as much green as I was hoping for. Are we attacking up north here, up, up top? Everyone has the attack action, so I think so. They are they are going down. All right, so as soon as the door goes down, which is about now, I'm going to have Thendu and Moodles pull away. I'm going to... I'm going to send in the animals first. And then we're going to send in the unyielding. Kif somehow managed to, like, fly through the wall. Uh, I don't want everyone bugged out. Let's have everyone go back here. Okay, now we're going to engage from here. All right. 
I'm just gonna let him roll, guys. I don't want to micro this. I want everyone to just fight it out. There's so much action here. Holy crap. And it's over with. So, uh, how much friendly fire did we have? Did anyone go down? No one's down. No one lost a limb, as far as I can tell. Uh, Tiny also took a bolt to the, uh, to the face. To the leg, rather. Are you serious? No one took any damage but Doc, of all people? Okay, so Doc, you'll probably heal yourself up. Okay, well, that's that. I guess. <laughs> what a mess, indeed. Uh, well done. Well done, everyone. Holy crap. Let's pull everyone down. We'll turn jobs back on. Uh, we'll turn jobs back on for everyone over here as well. I think everyone's getting patched up. Doc should be good to go here in just a couple minutes, and he is. So, yeah, that was quick. I think mostly from our dog protection service. Helped out a lot. Uh, Kiros, can you, or Zod, can you loot one of these guys? What do they have on them? Eh, I don't really want to micro all the uh, taking of the loot. I don't, I don't think it's worth it compared to what we're making in other areas. So, yeah, they're just going to die. See ya. Secret is going to help out with the bodies. Uh, is Zod and Mop helping out too? Let's kill this old job for corpse disposal and then we'll, yeah, that should help out too. Uh, we can take off the hold order for everyone. Does everyone have a hold order? I don't think so. Alright, well, that was fun. I didn't quite expect it to be that much of a slaughter. But I'm excited about it. God, there's so much blood. Look at the blood, guys. <laughs> like, they're all just insta-dead. Did we rip any arms off? Let's see, if we hold down alt... Um, no, do we kill, f do we knock feet off or is that just, do they leave their boots when they die? There's a lot, a lot of samurai boots here. Should we take the samurai boots for our main squad? <laughs> that is a lot of samurai boots. I tell you what, let's go look at a nice pair of samurai boots and see what they have in terms of stats. I will get back to our grand explorers here in just a mo moment. Um, I mean, combat speed, a slight reduction in combat speed, that's not too terribly shabby. So, I think I'm okay with maybe equipping the main squad with the feet, the, the footwear of the fallen, perhaps. Are these all crappy or are they decent in quality? Uh, they're all shoddy. I, I'll probably try to find the recipe for that and do it. Okay, so, real quick, let's get back to training. No rest for the wicked or the wounded. Doc will heal up over time. I mean, we could have him go to bed, but he's tough. He'll shake it off. Uh, Boop, I want you to get back to your martial arting. Oh, you are. Well done. And that's that. Within, like, three seconds, guys. We've uh, we've kicked some ass, took some names. Stone Wyatt and says, why don't you guys go up and continue your crossbowiness? Or, sorry, your, uh, your turretness. I'll even add Hobbs to the list here. Um, and we'll keep, uh, we'll keep, take that job off. We'll keep Kiros up top on guard duty for a while. And then we'll rotate him with someone else. Okay, real quick, back to the brains, uh, sorry, back to Archer Squad. I'm gonna try to get them down into this area, and we'll probably pick up the rest of this next episode. At least over to Scrapyard next episode. Uh, I'm gonna try to get to at least one Ruin right now. So, awesome. That was a fun fight. I'm glad we're that strong. By the way, what did we ever figure out what the hell's over here? You know what? I'm a sucker for a mystery. Let's see if Beep can just sprint over here. He, I think he has to... Ooh, he has to unlock this gate. Can he do this? How much of a ninja are you, sir? I mean, it's makeshift walls. I don't think they're that great. Uh, no, he's going to have a better chance of doing this at night. For sure. They're good enough that they should see him pretty quickly. Uh, suddenly much louder music or sound effects, so I hope that's not too bad for you. Uh, let's slow down a bit so I can keep an eye on what's going on. We want to make sure we don't run through too much uh, doom and gloom here. 
I think we'll be okay. I hope we'll be okay. Let's give us a run order over by these ruins. Oh, shit. I did not see them right in the middle of our group. Oh, this is going to be really bad. Uh, who's getting attacked here? Oh, that was so bad. I think we could run through it, though. Yeah, it was just a couple of small hits. Alice is really hurt, unfortunately. Uh, she is going to get... Holy shit, Alice has a bounty? Oh, she's a 15,000 cat bounty for attacking uh, those guys. Well done, Alice. So, she's currently running really slowly. Can we drop anything from her? Uh, I could drop... This is 18 kilograms worth of skeleton repair kits. I almost think I would rather... Damn, everyone still is carrying a lot of goods. I can't handle this many at one time. I'm not going to be able to, to kill them all. And I don't want her to get knocked down. So, she's also got all the goodies on her. Let's drop... Ugh, the skeleton repair kits. Let's see if that improves her speed at all. It did a little bit. She's up to 20. They're at 21. What else is... Okay, so let's do this. Let's, uh... Let's find somebody else. Lydia trade with Alice. I know it's awkward to do mid... Oh, you know what? I don't have to do that. Because you guys have taught me better than that. I should be able to just drop things on the character's face. Yeah. Okay, now she's up to 22. Everyone's at least at 22, right? Cool. Wonderful. Wunderbar. Yavel. Let us continue on with the... Let us make with the running aways. I love the footstep noise. It's so awkward. I think it's supposed to be like a, a gooey, mushy floor or something like that. So these, all, these guys all have what looks like ninja blades. They don't do a ton of damage per hit. I do think I, eventually we will go with a very heavy weapon. Big damage, big hits. Uh, you do re you require a lot of strength. My skin, my beautiful skin. Alice is continually getting damaged. Uh, wait a minute. I'm so confused. Why are you running faster than us? No one should be below 22. All right, we're going to give everyone the, the run fast command. Maybe we can lose them in a bunch of uh, robots or something. Tell you what, let's let's split up the group a bit. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm so confused. Is it? Maybe the numbers aren't exactly accurate. We do need to get some distance here so we can outrun these guys. Uh, I guess we could keep trying to run. What do we have up here? Oh yeah, sure. This seems like fun. Let's bring um, let's bring a bunch of skeletons over to the fight. How fast do they run? First off, nineteen. Okay, this will be fun. I'm sure this is fine. We're gonna run our group through this giant enclave of skeletons. We're gonna pull the skeletons, which we just did. We're gonna bring everyone back together, and we're going to try to get them through this little gap. In the side. I think we've got the speed on them right now. Oh shit, do they have turrets up here? I have seen turrets before, but no, I don't see it this time. We'll run to the side over here, so we can make a decent sized loop. Sorry for the clicking, I am like, constantly giving them, you know, movement orders. Okay, we're gonna drag them back through this fight. No, we're gonna drag, drag them around the side of the fight. This way. People are starting to slow down, I think, because they're constantly having foot damage. Uh, Jade has some untreated late limb damage, which we need to take care of very soon. Uh, Deadland Workshop. Do we want to make a beeline for the scrap house? I don't know if it's in a city or if it's just by itself. But I think you can buy there. It should be safe enough. Okay, let's do that before we're too slow to run away from the skeletons. So they are uh, absolutely destroying the bandits, I assume. Because um, you know, skeletons are just freaking beefy no matter what you do. Yeah, no doubt about it. Can't can't beat uh, can't beat mechanical. Why go mechanical? Why go flesh and blood when you've got mechanicals? Really need to get out of the rain. Um, but we're, we'll have to just try to get over to the scrap house here. 
Okay, I'm going to put them on a pretty fast run order and speed things up a bit because we're getting close to the point where I'd like to wrap up the episode. So, uh, Return for Tribute is on its way, which is in no big deal. Hopefully they'll take a piece of bread and leave us alone. We are getting chased by a couple of spiders, but that sh hopefully should be okay. Yes, we know your skin is burning. Totally got that part. Understandable. Sorry about that. Sorry about making your feet burn alive, you know, basically. Yeah, the long-term exposure here is really starting to hurt us, but I think we should be all right. I'll keep repeating that mantra until it happens. Okay, Black Desert City is what we just discovered. So this must be the city where I was talking about. This music is not helping my mood. <laughs> Beep is sitting here like, why are the fleshies in pain? Let's see if we can make it through. I'm so glad that one wasn't uh, a lie. We walked right through it. I've never been here. I'm super excited. It's a brand new place to hang out. I hope it's friendly. I'm assuming it's friendly. I can't afford that. That's traditional shopkeeper talk. Do they not have any defenses? That's pretty, uh, pretty beefy. So will you accept us and be friends? I don't see any... So they are skeletons, but I think they're like... I had forgotten how soggy humans like, well, you're not wrong. Are you still chasing us, my dude? Could you not, please? Uh, all right, so I don't know if they're going to have, they're not going to have any. Oh, they do have a bar. Well, that's terribly convenient for us. Are we going to have to fight this guy? I think we're going to have to fight this dude. Beep. Uh, show him who's boss with your ninja skills, please. No blocking, just just punching, and then we'll have the rest of the archers help out here. Uh, Lydia, they need to be taken care of pretty quick, but we're we're in a safe place, I think. What is, I want to give Beep a chance. Okay, never mind. <laughs> One shot, no scope, three sixty. He got nothing. Let's see what he got on him. Uh, just a couple of crappy ninja blades and a bit of other stuff. We do have ninja rags. Ooh, ninja mask? <gasps> oh, that's gonna happen. How does how does he look? This is really what's important is how does Beep look at any given time? Oh, he looks even awesomer. Even awesomer? Sure. Absolutely. Okay, so we're gonna go inside the bar, uh, heal up for just a second. <gasps> Are you guys recruitable? Oh, there's another hiver here. Nope, no hiver here. It's a uh, razor, I guess. Oh, oh god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I got, I almost freaked out. I was about to just scream in terror. Ooh, skeleton that I can talk to. Can I hire you? <gasps> oh my god, please, can I talk to you? Oh my god, guys, we're gonna get our first skeleton. Uh, so obviously the question becomes, what do we name it? I'm so excited about Skeletor. Oh, he just joined us. Like, no choice. Okay, fair enough. No renaming allowed right now. Uh, so Sadneel? Sadneel? Cool. I'm glad they got beds. How nice of them. How considerate of our, uh, our precious tender flesh bags. Uh, cool. We've got enough beds for everyone, actually. So we'll have the flesh bags take a nap. Let's take a look at this guy's stats real quick. So skeletons, any bonuses, native bonuses? Uh, they do have, that's right, they do have a turret bonus. They have a default bonus to turret skill. Is that really it? Obviously robotics. That seems to be really it. So they're really good at turrets and they're really good at robotics. Either way, they've got 200 freaking, uh, what is it, health in, in each of the limbs. So that's pretty impressive in its own right. Yay, we're such an equal opportunity group, you know? We're really, we're really spreading the love. Why is this bed super crooked and backwards? <laughs> okay, whatever works. Um, while they're sleeping, Beep, can you find... Up, is it over here? No, that's that's definitely not over there. Oh, it's across a bridge. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go to the scrapyard. I think this is what it is. 
Gonna take a look and see if they've got any goodies to sell. We do have a lot of items that we could trade for money anyways. I'm so excited. I've never been here, guys. I've heard so many things. I, I can't see. <laughs> Please help. Uh, quick save real fast. Zoom in so I can see what the hell I'm looking at. And, oh, there is a actual spider here. That is aggro. Okay. Did not know this was going to be so close to the city and possibly aggroing. Do I go... Hello? I have so many questions. Wait, was that an upstairs? I can't see shite, guys. I can't see anything right now. Where... What am I supposed to be doing here? Let's... Oh, holy shit. Uh, how do I get up here? Oh, interesting. Okay. Let's see how good this works out for the entire situation. So are these all hostile to us, first off? Soldier bot guards. No, they're not. We can unsneak, right? Okay, for a second I thought, because there was a there's an aggro spider downstairs. Maybe it's just one that got away from them. Oh my gosh, I hope we get everything ever. Please, oh, I didn't mean to accidentally uh, sprint there with max speed. How many years has it been? We're actually not a human, but that's fine. We're not offended by that. We've uh, we've lived among the humans for a while. Show me what you got. <gasps> falling suns. Do you have falling sun blueprints? I will kiss you. Oh my god. Holy shit. Give me all of your blueprints. Storm goggles. Well, yeah, that has to happen. Uh, Old World Bow Mark II. Wow, you have an AI core as well. Desert Sabers, Toppers, Exotic Weapons. <gasps> Would this instantly unlock the Falling Sun? Is this what it says? It says, New Weapon Class Falling Sun. Is this my dream? You guys, is this it? Is this it? <laughs> I'm so excited. 13 Ancient Science books, too. Uh, Black and Chainmail? Yeah, now now here's another question. Should we buy this or should we steal this? Um, we've been talking in Discord as well about a playthrough that is only... What the heck is it called, guys? It was the... Um, it's a class of weapon. It's an artifact. So instead of saying model number whatever, it actually says... Oh, crap. I can't remember the name of it right now. Did, is, does he sell these or no? I think they're only on people. I think they're actually on unique individuals. God, he has everything for sale. Okay, so Falling Suns. Let's pause and take a look at things and get a, bit, a little bit crazy about numbers right now. Uh, falling Suns do 1.48 cutting, 1.10 blunt. They do extra damage versus big things, gorillas, and leviathans. So requiring both dexterity and strength to use, they are widely known as suicide blades because they often get their users killed. Compared to, I mean, I guess the Fragment Axe wouldn't be bad. Uh, what else would be a heavy? I guess Fragment Axe is a heavy too. A heavy, a Fragment is just, wow, in comparison, so it's 2.88 damage and 0.55 cutting. But I kind of like Falling Suns just because they're massive damage, and then you can also get more versus big things in Grillos. So first off, let's sell some things. We're going to sell the eggs we have. Uh, we will also sell the rusty chain mail and the rusty chain shirt. Okay. We're going to grab for sure the exotic weapon blueprint. I know it's 20k. I know I could steal from him. But I want to do it somewhat legitimately. Let's give ourselves somewhat of a challenge. The white plate jacket I think we can sell as well. Because we can make our own plate jackets at this point. Which are almost either masterwork or specialist grade. So we're going to sell this to get a bit more money. We're going to sell the uh, high quality Naginata and Desert Saber as well. And the Spring Bat. So next, I want to grab Black and Chainmail because we don't really have too many shirts yet. And that might be a really great option for us as just a generic piece of armor shirt. So I will grab that Black and Chainmail. We already know Advanced Outpost Blueprints. Uh, we don't really care. I don't think we care about toppers or sabers too much. Let's see if we can find a topper. 
don't quite know. That's a pretty fancy saber. Don't really know what toppers look like, to be honest. Uh, yeah, can't say I honestly know what a topper is. I still can't find out if it's a name of weapon or a class. I think it's not a class. I think it's part of the hacker class, maybe. Okay, either way, NBD. They've got tons of these bows, by the way. So the bows that I lost my mind about, they've got tons more Eagles Crosses, as well as the recipe for a Old World Bow Mark II. Now, do you have a Mark II in your inventory? You do. So a Mark II does 54 to 72 damage compared to 40 to 59. Okay. The reload speed is still super fast, so maybe the Mark IIs wouldn't be bad if we wound up making another Archer Squad. I don't know who sells the Eagles Cross type of bows. Foreign Sabres, Dust Coat, Storm Goggles. Storm Goggles might be kind of cool. Where do those go? Those go on your head, right? Uh, that would take up a head slot, so I don't think we're going to do that. Dust Coat, no big deal. Ashland Hat, sure. Just to, just to spread out the styles that we love and, and we use. Uh, the rest of this, though, I think we're going to say thank you so much for showing us, and we're good to go. Oh, cool. The Ashlander store. Oh, hello. Uh, well, they give you the same perception bonus as a hat. And I think they do. Don't they take up a, a head slot? Let's buy this real quick. Where do they go? Yeah, they, they do go on your head slot. So it's not that useful for us. Uh, do we want to buy some books here? It would cost 50000 to buy 10 of these. I mean... Ancient science books are the big thing that's going to hold us back down the road. So I don't really know if we need to buy them per se. How much more stuff can we sell? Quite a bit. Um, I would say let's go ahead and buy these. Because money is easy come, easy go. Right? We've, we've, we still haven't even looted the areas in this zone. So I think we can do that. Let's grab these books. Let's grab the books. I know it hurt to see that much money going by really quick. But now he's got 96,000 credits, so we can always come back and sell to him. Uh, we don't really need engineering artifacts yet, either. Okay. So, I'm excited. I'm about to pass out from, like, just, you know... I've never been so excited about a silly Kenshi playthrough before, but I'm super pumped right now, guys. As soon as our archer squad gets healed up, which I've been d uh, dallying so long, they're almost ready. Next episode, they'll come over. We'll get them to sell all their items to this guy as well. And then we'll continue our adventure in this zone. We've got the Deadland Workshop to come back to, the Outpost, and a bunch more ruins. We'll probably come back and sell even more goodies. I might send Sad Neil back home with a bunch of the research books, though, because we do have a bunch of research that we need to catch up on, and it's only a quick jaunt over. How's your uh, acrobatics? Not acrobatics, it's not D&D. &D. Athletics. Uh, crappy, so we'll have to have him do a bit of running. Hopefully he'll survive that trip. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this episode. I still believe it is episode 50, I hope. Thank you so much for joining me, and I do hope to t uh, you take care, and I will see you again next episode.